Hi doll, how are you doing? Remind me of your name again. time so I do thank you for that. Okay, right, we're just going to get straight into it. I have a very busy day so I do apologise. What I'm going to do first. Just put a protective garment on you. going to clip your hair back here good and this one as well good right we're going to need to do um, a little bit work on your skin. Okay. We're just going to start with some toner. Have you worked with the brand before? Oh, okay. Now I've seen a couple of your campaigns before. Yes, I, I will admit I was quite excited to work with you. Using some hand sanitizer. Okay.
then I'm just going to use a little bit of moisturiser. This is the same brand as before, the Ordinary. And what I'm going to do as well is just mix it with a little bit of these Daily Hydro Drops. good for skincare. What I like to do before I put any makeup on your face is I like to use a setting spray just as a base layer, yes. And then I use a different setting spray after. shoot this isn't um I know you're used to runway which is typically minimal makeup um, we are going to be doing something a bit heavier just so we look all okay on the cameras okay so we're going to start with a little bit of concealer just to cover any spots that you may have just light blemishes you don't really have any spots, but you do have a couple of red areas. Okay. Now I am just going to pat that in with my finger. Yes. on top. I know it's always a bit strange filming or taking pictures for campaigns that are well ahead in the future. So we're actually shooting a summer camp. Just going to grab 
a lighter coloured concealer just so we can do under your eyes if you excuse me Good, no polish, that's perfect. Yes, we're always having to remove polish here as well. No, it won't be me doing your nails, you'll be going to a separate department for that. They're just going to pop a clear coloured polish over the top. going to use a little bit of finishing powder just to set the um, foundation that we've put on you. on you. Um, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're going to think, wow, we've gone really heavy on the bronze. It's just the way with the lighting, the studio lighting that we're going to have, it can wash you out slightly, so we have to be slightly heavier on the bronze. Okay. So if you can just smile for me. Thank you. So we're going to apply we apply slightly above the cheek hollows. We apply around the top of the forehead. I'm sure you probably know all of this already, but. Going to apply under your chin here, just to define your jaw. Do you still get nervous when you're doing these things, or are you more used to? Yeah, it's good to not get complacent. It's good that you still feel nerves. Means you're conscious of doing a good job. I'm going to pop a little bit on the end of your nose here as well. Okay. Right. I'm going to pop blush on now. Again, it's going to look the same as the bronze. You're going to think. You've really put a lot of blush on there. Okay. It's 
smile again. And again, we're going to just pop a little bit on the end of your nose there. And I'm also going to pop a little bit on your lip. That's good. Okay. Great. Just going to, excuse me, have a little look at colours here now. Matte palette here, which we may need to incorporate a couple of them. Okay. Right. I'm just going to pop. Concealer on your lid. You close your eyes for me. Thank you. I'm just going to just dab in with my fingers. to take a matte colour and cover the entire lid. And I'm going to take this very bright sparkly palette and I'm going to put this purple shade in 
뉴 그리스에요. And the biggest surprise, we are going to be using this orange as well. And I'm just going to bring the orange from the outside and around. going to do a little bit of shading with the darker purple we have here. Okay. It does sort of seem like a, a more Halloween based look but these are the colours they've asked for so I shall deliver. Good. Just to finish it off, I'm gonna pop a little bit of this peachy colour on the inner corners of your eye. the dark purple again and just do under your eyes so if you could open your eyes and look up for me thank you sweetheart I know this bit's a little bit awkward doing any eyeliner but we will be doing mascara I'm just going to do your brows first we're doing a natural look with the brows I'm just going to brush them out to begin with Pencil in a couple of the sparser areas that you do. 
you have. I'm guessing one of the requirements in your contract is to leave the brows alone. No plucking. No. is my portable heater, which is why it's so toasty in here. Just need to leave those two dry. What I will get started on is the mascara. Are you happy with? Good. We'll start with this eye. Okay, left eye. So if you keep your eyes nice and wide open for me. Again, keep your eyes open for me. Okay, when I say so, you blink, okay? Slide. Thank you. Say blink, 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 blink. Okay, just making sure. I'm just gonna hold your eye here. Make sure we get the inner corners. Not doing lava lashes. I prefer to leave the lava lashes just as they are. Sometimes I do put a little bit of the clear brow gel on them as it just accentuates them. 
but yours are long enough that you don't need any mascara. Sometimes it can bring the eyes down. We'll try this one. If it's no good, we can take it off. Okay. You just want to uh, pat your lips for me. Then if you can, open your mouth and rest it like this. Thank you. Just making sure we get into the corner. Okay. Thank you. Mind if I take a photo of you as well? Oh, we should probably take these out. Okay, makeup's all done. If you just want to go on to the next room, like I said, they'll get your nails all sorted just with the clear polish. And then you'll be able to get your hair done as well. You're very welcome, darling. I hope it all goes well. I'll be floating around anyway. So if they need me to do any touches to your makeup during the shoot, I'll be there. Okay.